So now we have to solve this question based on auto cycle. There we have been given the initial condition for pressure and temperature and also the compression ratio and the heat supplied. And we have been asked to calculate the maximum pressure and temperature of the cycle and cycle efficiency. So if you draw the diagram for an auto cycle, ideal auto cycle, you will get it something like this, which is a one, two, three, you four. The pressure uh, one to the the process one to do is a uh, isentropic compression process. So this is a PD diagram, and the uh, uh, pressure between two to three is a combustion process, or the heat supplied heat is supplied in the uh, process two to three, where the fuel will be burned and the heat will be supplied to the engine. And uh, three to four is where the engine does the work. And the 4 to 1 is where the heat will be rejected. So this is our typical region, or, or sorry, auto cycle works. And we can see that 2 to 3 process is the constant volume conversion process. So in an auto cycle, there will be constant volume conversion process. And uh, in an uh, PV cycle, there will be constant pressure conversion process. So we have a uh, initial pressure, which is a P1 as 0.1 megapascal. We have initial pressure temperature T1 as a 273 plus a 35, which is a 308 Kelvin. We have heat supplied as 2100 kJ per kg at constant volume uh, because of the, it is an auto cycle. And uh, we also have the compression ratio, which is R as a 8. So R is 8. So this is the given right now. We have to find out the maximum pressure and temperature. So Maximum pressure and temperature, as you can see, uh, like observing the um, like the process, we have maximum pressure at 0.3, but uh, the temperature will be also the maximum at 0.3. Why? Because the like between pressure uh, between process one to two, it will be a compression process. So the volume will be decreased, pressure will increase, and the temperature will also increase because of the uh, like the polytropic process. And uh, between pressure 2 to 3, uh, between process 2 to 3, there will be a constant heat addition because of which temperature will uh, increase of 2.3. And after that, there will be an expansion process because of what the compression, uh, the temperature will decrease. So like if you observe the process, you will get like that the temperature should be maximum at 0.3 because of the heat addition process. So the temperature will be maximum after the heat addition, uh, which is at 0.3. So we need to find temperature at 0.3 and pressure at 0.3. So let us see how we can find that. Uh, first, we need to find the temperature and pressure at uh, point 0.2, then we will find at point 0.3. So, we know for proce process 1 to 2, we can write PQ to the power gamma is constant because it is an isent isentropic uh, compression process. And uh, we can write P as RT by V, which will become TV to, to the gamma minus 1 should be constant from the ideal gas equation. And we had T1, V1 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to T2, V2 to the power gamma minus 1. We have T2 as a T1 into V1 by V2, which is the compression ratio because V1 will be volume before compression and V2 will be volume after compression. So it will become the compression ratio to the power of minus 1. T1 we have as 308 into R we have as 8 to the power 1, 0 0.4 because it is a gamma minus 1. So if you calculate this, uh, you will uh, get it uh, something 704. So it's 7.476 Kelvin. So this is how you can calculate your T2. When you can calculate your T3 uh, using the heat supplied equation also because uh, heat supplied is nothing at constant volume is nothing but CV delta T. If your units are kilojoule per kg. So this is the uh, equation is only applicable for this unit. Or else you need to include M also. Uh, if you are calculating your total heat supplied or total heat rejected also. So in kilojoule per kg units, this equation is valid. So QS is nothing but a 2100 kilojoule per kg. And the value of CV uh, in the units of kilojoule per kg Kelvin is nothing but 0 0.72. And uh, if you put this uh, 0 0.72 into the delta T, which is T3 minus T2 for the process T2 to 3. And we have been calculating, we have calculated the value of T2 from here, like uh, from the isentropic process. You can just put it in. And we have uh, from this equation T3 as something as a 3624 
0.14 Kelvin. So you have got T3, which is the maximum temperature, and you have got the T2. So let us see how we can find maximum pressure also. To find the maximum pressure, you can like use the concept that uh, the process of 2 to 3 is nothing but a constant volume uh, heat addition process. So, uh, like if you apply the ideal gas equation, which is PV is equal to RT for constant volume, you have RT by P is a constant. So, R1 T1 by P1 should be equal to R2 T2 by P2. So, for 2 to 3, it should become 2, 3, yeah. And R is nothing but constant because it is a universal gas conflict. So, R will get cancelled. We have uh, T3 by T2 is P3 by P2. Yeah. So you can also use this equation to find the pressure at per point 0.3 or temperature at point 0.3 also. But temperature at point 0.3 we have, T2 we have, we only need to find T2 in order to find the uh, pressure at point 0.3. So let us see how we can find T2. So P2 is a very easy, you just have to apply the isentropic equation once again. You have P1 V1 to the power gamma is P2 V2 to the power gamma. And uh, you have uh, P2 as a P1 into compression ratio, ratio to the power gamma. P1 as a 0 0.1 into compression ratio as 8 to the power gamma is 1.4. If you calculate this, uh, you will get pressure as 0.2 is something 1.8 3 megapascal. So this is how you can calculate pressure at point 2 and uh, just put it in this uh, equation uh, you will be able to find the P3 also. P3 will never nothing be uh, but uh, P2 into T3 by T2 and P2 we have found it to be 1.83 temperature at 3 we have 3624.14 and temperature at 2 we have 707.476 so pressure at point 3 comes out to be 9.41 megapass. So this is our uh, temperature pressure at, so let us just write our answer here. We have temperature at point 3 is 3624 and pressure at point 3 is 9.41, uh, which we are required to find in the question because is, uh, we needed to find the maximum pressure and the maximum temperature. And the third thing we have been asked to find is the uh, cycle efficiency. And the cycle efficiency, if you know the cycle efficiency formula for an outer cycle, it will be very easy for you to continue. So for the calculating cycle efficiency, the efficiency is nothing but 1 minus 1 divided by R to the power gamma minus 1. So it will become 1 minus 1 divided by 8 to the power 0 0.4, uh, which will come out to be 56.74 percentage. So this is how you can calculate your uh, efficiency. And was with a maximum pressure and temperature for an order cycle. Thank you.